Hello guys and welcome back to Treetop Adventures. As you can see, today's video is not about Animal Crossing. We are instead going on four different tours at four different universities in Southern California. This was offered to us from our Gear Up program at our school. Gear Up can do a lot of different things. They have different programs, they have tutoring, a whole bunch of stuff that can help any high schooler. So we definitely took the opportunity to go look at different universities, especially since I have only been hooked on just one, and I thought that by doing this I could explore more universities. And everything was free. Now when I tell you this campus is beautiful, it is drop dead gorgeous. I love how the buildings were made, especially this one, it had like vines on it, it was really cool. This was used to film part of a movie. This part of campus was really, really pretty to me and I was really intrigued, especially when the tour guide was talking about Royce Hall. She mentioned that on the left side, all the way up at the top, there's three arches rather than on the right side, there's only two. She explained that the architecture did it this way to show that not everybody at UCLA is perfect and not everybody needs to be perfect. You can be you. She then told us a little fun fact about the Powell Library. First off, it has four floors, but here is the twist. Each floor has a different level of quietness. So if you want complete silence, go all the way up to the fourth floor and you got it. The outside of these buildings are absolutely beautiful and I wonder what the inside of them looked like. Unfortunately, we weren't allowed to go in. Now, this place was relatively quiet and it has a bunch of statues around from students who made them and they were able to be put here this specific one we were told that if two people stand in the right place and they whisper they can hear each other perfectly fine while walking towards the top of the stairs a lot of people were just asking questions you know trying to get to know more about gpas and everything like that now those buildings up past the stadium is the dormitories. We were not able to go to them because it was like a 15, 20 minute walk from the campus. So a lot of people ride around on scooters or skateboards. Now going down the steps, we were told that somebody, I don't remember who, was buried from the sixth step. So we made sure not to step on it. It was just a superstition. Now for lunch, my family and I got Taco Bell and in the food court that we were sitting in, the news was playing, which I thought was actually pretty cool. After that, we met outside and that is the Boon Bear. If you touch his foot, it's good luck. So a lot of students will touch it for good luck when midterms are coming up or finals, anything like that. Overall, UCLA is really, really pretty and very, very welcoming. Even if I don't get in, I am still going to put in an application. Back on the bus while we were heading over to Channel Islands, I decided that I was going to play some Animal Crossing. I was going to get some footage of my villagers so that way I could upload fairly back to back, you could say. I ended up giving a couple villagers a couple of things, talking to them and then just getting off. We did then see this car on fire. I'm hoping nobody was hurt. I don't think anyone was hurt. It doesn't look like anybody was in there. Moving on from that, these mountains are very beautiful. I wasn't really paying attention uh, after we got off the freeway, but I did look up a couple times and Channel Islands is basically in the middle of nowhere. Now, not like middle, middle of nowhere, but there's a lot of farming and mountains and greenery around this area. It definitely gave me more of a town, like old townish vibe. It was really, really quiet. And to me and my cousin, it was a little too quiet for our liking. It was beautiful, don't get me wrong. And they said that they have an amazing business program. So I am still going to apply for Channel Islands. And if I get in, I think I would be really excited to be honest especially just as a backup. They didn't really tell us much history or anything about you know, their mascot, but they do have puppy days, like during midterms, so you can relax. They, they provide a lot of stuff for their students. After Channel Islands, we ended up going to this 
garden area i don't exactly know what it is as you can see there's farms right there this is the garden we kind of like hiked through i did like a little photo shoot to post on my instagram we only had like 30 minutes so everybody was like running around the view up at the top of the mountain was beautiful it was cloudy and cold so it would definitely be really really pretty during sunrise or sunset but being able to get off the bus and walk through nature felt amazing now we were heading back down towards our hotel and we were going to be stopping for food we stopped at this really really nice mall slash outlet my family and i ate at cheesecake factory and we sat outside so it would be faster and this fountain was beautiful and there's apartments above the gucci store i got this mocha drink i forgot exactly what it's called it was nice and warm though and i got flatbread pizza on this side was the mall and on the other side was the outlet area meaning outside and cold we then headed down to the hotel permanently so that was our final destination and they gave us the money and so we spent our money wisely for food the next morning we were given breakfast i got eggs and bacon and some water we then loaded up on the bus and started heading towards cal state fullerton after we got off the bus when we went to this area i immediately knew where we were i had previously been here for a drumline competition and so this made me even more excited to see what exactly they had that building is the math building i believe I was, that's what i was told and it's one of the oldest buildings on campus this is the front of the school and i really liked how i don't know i just like this it was just very pretty this is fullerton's good luck charm you could say yes it's a broken statue but if you rub the right toe counterclockwise it's good luck and here's ash telling me to rub the toe and we got food my family got panda express and to be honest this campus was also very very pretty as well i'm very happy that i got to explore more than what i saw the last time i was here i just went inside the gym and that was it which the gym is pretty nice definitely also going to be applying for here as well now our last stop was cal poly P P pomona i think that's how you say it now i didn't really record the tour because i didn't really like the school now nothing against the people that go here or the people that do like this school i just personally didn't really like it that much one thing i did like was the history behind it all of the buildings that have red bricks on top are original original buildings from the person who first owned the land and he had a ranch and horses which is pretty cool but that was really the only thing that kind of intrigued me they mentioned that they have a really really good engineering program and they didn't really talk a lot about business to be honest none of the schools really talked about business i had to ask which was fine not a lot of people do major in you know having their own business or being an entrepreneur stuff like that which was fine but when business was mentioned not a lot was like if i didn't ask not a lot was mentioned so it is partially my fault for not asking more details also it was really really cold here i just wanted to get back on the bus so i was nice and toasty again if you want to do engineering and you want a good school to go to i probably would recommend this one just this one's not personally for me so this is the only school out of the four that i won't be applying for as a backup and yeah i know i don't really have that much of a chance of getting into ucla but rather try than not. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun looking at all of these different universities rather than just, you know, being stuck on one. If you did enjoy this video, please hit that like button and subscribe so you stay updated with whatever I upload because it's kind of random at this point. Anyways, see you guys next time. Bye!